Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to TLT Talks. We got a very exciting show for you today. Um, for those of you that might, might be out there uh, searching for a home to purchase, you'll know that what I'm saying is true. It is not easy right now. It is not easy to be a buyer between the difficult market conditions, you know, multiple bids, yada, yada, low inventory, uh, you know, appraisals. It's just, it's not easy to be a buyer right now. So we thought we'd give you uh, some tips today and how to most successfully navigate the buying process. Here we go. We've got with us Eric, who has just successfully the home. How's it going, Eric? Hey, how's it going? How are you? Pretty good. Let's see if we can get Molina on. Here we go. I believe this is going to be our first show with more than one party, I think. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We got Glad Eric. to be number one. There we go. There we go. We got Eric and Molina with us. Hi, Molina. How's it going? I'm good. How are you guys? You look fabulous as usual. Uh, thank you. You too. So I was just saying to our audience how for anyone that's out there now uh, looking or interested in purchasing a property, the conditions aren't easy, right? Between... Uh, inventory being low, the multiple bid situation. If you're fortunate enough to be in contract, then you've got long underwriting delays and you've got appraisal stuff and woo, it is tough. So uh, for those of you watching, uh, Melina and Eric have worked together. Eric has <clears throat> purchased uh, recently a home and Melina was his rock star agent that helped. So let, let's jump right in. Uh, Eric, why don't you take a, a minute and introduce yourself. Let us know who you are. Give us a little bit of uh, insight into you. Of course, yeah. So, name's Eric, obviously. Married to my wife, Amanda. She's a nurse. We have a two-year-old Cordy who's sleeping uh, right on the floor right now. Um, <laughs> I hope he doesn't drop his bone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> has no clue why um, I'm talking right now. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so we have lived in the Upper East Side um, for almost five years now. I've been married for a few. And um, we're looking to buy an apartment. Uh, we actually rented from... Melina in our old building and uh, that's how we met her and kind of went from there and uh, yeah Amanda's going back to myself sorry um, Amanda's a nurse so COVID was a very tough time for her um, I worked for Major League Baseball so we were both in the office throughout this entire thing so a little bit unique on both of our sides but um, excited to be here and um, definitely excited to share our wisdom and what we learned and the good and bad very cool, and thank you for making the time. I know, I know you're really busy. Uh, yeah, very cool about very cool about Amanda. I didn't know that. My my wife is a, my wife is a physician assistant. She's been in the ER for like 14 years, and and just got her master's in her biology. So East and West. But yeah, I remember I remember like it was yesterday. She's coming home in a hazmat suit, and uh, it's this, it was it was a few crazy a few crazy months. Yeah, yeah, incredible. Uh, and, and MLB, that's pretty cool. What, what do you do with the MLB? I work in the replay room, so. Any yeah. call that gets reviewed, <laughs> don't yell at me, please. I was going to say, um, it's your fault. Somebody please don't yell at me. Say, it's your fault. Um, yeah, I was there last night for game five, Dodgers, Giants. Um, Yo, my God. One, so. call, one call determines your whole year. Crazy. Crazy. Very cool. Welcome, welcome, my friend. Melina, why Thank you for having me. Me? Yeah, of course. You, you, you've been on the show a few times, but, you know, maybe reintroduce yourself and give us a new, a new what are you all about? You know what? I actually thought about this, and I'm going to give the same what I'm all about because it's going to be about months, and there's wow. never enough, right? So um, <laughs> I am an agent on the Litvak team. I've been here since 2016. I work with buyers, sellers, renters, um, and that's how I met Eric and Amanda is uh, just like Eric said, they rented their unit with me, and then, you know, when it was time to purchase, luckily we connected again, which was amazing because um, I love when clients turn into actual friends, and the whole point is to work with people that you want to work with and that you like. So um, as I mentioned before, they were amazing. So thank you for that, because obviously the buying process or the real estate process is not easy. Um, and yeah, fun fact about myself is I love Disney and I love mugs. And here's my coffee mug oh, today. Awesome. And I love the Little Mermaid. So, you know, if anyone nice. wants to well, surprise you, you me got, with you mugs. Got, you got ahead of me. All right, cool. So we were going to do a fun fact. So Melina's fun fact is mug life. Yes. Some, some, you know, some, uh, everyone collects different things. Some collect baseball cards, some collect, you know, co coins. I don't know. Melina's mug life. They need Melina <laughs> walking closet in her home just for all the mugs. It's possible. 
Uh, Eric, what about you, my man? A fun fact. I mean, honestly, he works for the MLB. Like, that's pretty damn fun. Yeah, that was going to really be cool. a fun fact. But we'll go. Um, in college, I won a went to University of Miami, won the three point contest for the entire school. Got to shoot a halftime of a Miami uh, Virginia ACC game. No, so. hey, that's oh, man, I've been not that good for, like, anymore. But years, back, in day, awesome, back in the day, back in the day, used to be good. Uh, do you still play or no? Uh, not it's really tough with working for baseball. Yeah. It's just. Yeah. During the season, you can never really. Oh, that's awesome, dude! Too that's much. Awesome. That's really awesome. All right, gang. Well, let's let's jump in. Let's help folks out there. So, uh, you, you're living at you're living at this luxury rental building. You like it there, and you decide, hey, we want to buy, right? So, let's start with like, uh, you know, a search criteria or how this came to be. You know, give us a little bit of details on your search and and how you came up, you know, with that as your criteria. Yeah. So we, you know, we wanted to stay on the Upper East Side. Um, it's kind of where I've been since I moved back to New York and um, mm-hmm. my wife has lived too. Uh, we have been living in, you know, a rental paying, you know, close to $4,000 a month, kind of just almost feel like, you know, throwing right. a little bit of money away. Um, Burn, time burning time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it was a small, a small apartment, you know, luxury rental, but it's, a, it was a rental and we kind of, you know, during COVID, um, you know, we saw some prices in the city coming down, like this might be the time to, you know, get going. <laughs> So um, we started working a little bit on our own. Apologize for the dog barking. No, that's all. Uh, <laughs> he dropped his bone, didn't he? <laughs> when, when I'm done talking, we're going to go get it. Um, so started looking a little bit on our own and found a few spots that, you know, definitely fit within our budget. Um, so like, uh, we could really contact someone. And, you know, we worked with Melina during our rental, and she was awesome. So like, let's, you know, talk to her and see what she thinks. And started looking at the spot that, um, you know, kind of went from there. So, you know, it was the Upper East Side. You know, our budget was, you know, it's with HOA. We didn't really throw a number on it because we knew what we wanted to be monthly. Um, and potential renos, not, no renos. So that's kind of where we started. And then, you know, turned to Molina to kind of give us advice beyond that. Right. Cool. All right, awesome. So I, th- I think if I remember correctly, it was like a junior floor, two bedroom. Um, and what, what was the budget, remind me? So it was junior four. Um, we'll eventually, mm-hmm. hopefully, put a wall up. But we were looking to go up to, you know, eight is max if it had to be done, you know, no work done to it at all, um, cool. which was really at the top of the budget, um, yeah. pending HOA as well. Right. But we were more comfortable in the, you know, six to 750 range, right. which, right. Where cool. we which, is, which, is where, which is where a lot of buyers started. Perfect. Okay, yeah. cool. Awesome. So, Molina, you get this phone call. Hey, Molina, it's Eric and Amanda. We're, we're loving, we're loving X address. I don't want to give away X address or previous address, uh, but it's time to buy. He gives you this budget, you know, and so talk to me about your perspective. So when you get a phone call from a, from a potential buyer, whether it's you know, an existing client or a new one, and you're given all the stuff, what's, um, how do you, how do you lean into that? What do you do? What's your process? Any tips for the brokers that might be watching? What's the best way to you know intake this uh, new or existing client? Yeah, well, first, I mean, my approach is always obviously to, you know, speak to them. We did a Zoom. It was like COVID, you know, everybody was was going crazy and to kind of talk about the home buying process. So they were first time home buyers. But, you know, whether you're a first time home buyer or, you know, this is your 10th investment property, I always love to realign to make sure that we're on the same page. Um, And then once we walk through the process, it's really just about diving deeper into what they're looking for. Um, I've also found that, you know, people start their search with, X thoughts. And then the more you see and, and the more <laughs> you realize, you know, what you like and what you don't like, it's, it's like the funnel, right? You start at the top of the funnel and you start narrowing down. So they mm-hmm. did happen to see this apartment, but um, we did obviously go through their search. We did see a lot more. It's funny because this ended up being the apartment that they loved from the beginning, but I love, and I, I tell everyone this, whether you're a renter, a buyer, whatever, I tell everyone, I love seeing what you love and what you don't love, because all that does is solidify what you actually do love, because it's also scary walking into an apartment, making your um, purchase for a home for the first time in your life. And you're like, oh, my God, this was the first apartment I walked into. And I think I want to buy it. Is this like, yeah. is this real? Is this yeah, not real? We had no we had no clue at all. But um, which is why we're like, we can't do this on our own. Yeah, no way. And, and there's no reason to, you know, it's, it's so funny how for some reason, real estate is seen through a different lens. Like if someone was if someone's feeling ill and like they thought they like that something was wrong with them with their health 
they wouldn't be like, well, let me just go to Google. I mean, maybe that's where it starts. <laughs> I guess people start with street easy or Zillow. You never know these days. But then you go to a doctor, you know, like, and if you were filing taxes, sure, we've got the TurboTax folks. But for the most part, you see an accountant to make sure, you know, financial planning, like, you know, your car, you'll probably bring it into a mechanic. It's like, but for some reason, real estate is just not looked at the same. And, I'm, you know, my advice, which I think is probably the same as Melina's advice, and I imagine the same as yours, Eric, is that, like, you're going to be, this is probably going to be the most expensive asset you're going to own. Why not get a professional to work with you, especially because in New York City, it doesn't actually cost you anything. You know, the, the, the buyer's commission is already built into the sales price. Definitely. Like, I had to uh, remind my wife that like 15 times. <laughs> <laughs> and then even um, at the end, she's like, don't we have to, you know, pay Melina? I'm like, <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's cool. And, and so, yeah, I, I, I agree with that. I think. I think what's really important, I think this, this step that most buyers in this market skip is the actual preparation part. You know, they, they, they may talk to a banker, they might get like, you know, at one of these like uh, very preliminary pre-approvals and the, the bank, the bank statement might, the, the pre-approval might say a million bucks or whatever. And so cool, let's go on Zillow, let's go on Street Easy to search type million dollars, location, and let's go start seeing property. And to me, that's the kiss of death, you know, before really understanding the nuances between co-op and condo before really talking to, you know, a real estate professional like Molina and understanding the long-term strategy. Is this a short-term purchase for like two or three years? Is it a long-term purchase? You can own it forever. What's most important? Is it location? Is it recent? Like it's an asset, you know, and purchasing such an expensive asset, there should be a real conversation and prep about it. And, and you know, most buyers seem to skip that part. It, it's, it's really common practice. So yeah, cool. I, I love that you guys linked up. I love that Molina, you know, put you in a zoom and say hey look let's take a step back let's talk about what are we doing here and then let's lean in and by the way it's almost like the kiss of death to see a great place first <laughs> it's like it almost ruins the whole process because no one will pull the trigger on the first place they see everyone everyone's natural human reaction will be will be like oh well, it's just the first place we're not gonna buy the first place we see and then it tends to create overconfidence because they're like oh that's the first place let's see what we could do us better and then we just I, kept comparing so everything tough. against the first place <laughs> yeah, it's, it's okay. yeah that's why that's i said tough. let's get as many under your belt yeah. as possible you know because yeah. it's it's scary and and you know i'm in the business and i know this and it would be scary for me too right so i'm like all right let me make sure to see you know at least five to seven more properties to solidify the fact that it really was the right. first one we got lucky right. Right, right. Well, let's, so that, that's a great transition. Tell me, Eric, uh, for you, and you know, in this, in this particular case, you're representing the Eric and Amanda team. So sure. anything, anything that Amanda would have said, feel free to share. What made working with Molina special? Like what, what, you know, what would you say out there for, uh, you know, what was the benefit of work with an agent? And more specific, like what did Molina do that kind of blew you guys away? Yeah, so I mean, clearly she's just super knowledgeable about everything about, you know, educating us on co-op first condos you mentioned on kind of the hidden costs on the whole entire roadmap from offer to, you know, dealing with our attorney to dealing with the seller side. Um, the education part was super important because we thought we knew stuff, but we clearly did not mm -hmm. And then she just, everything was a personal touch, you know, whether it would bring us a coffee while, you know, we went to see a place, you know, calling us, laughing with us, crying with us, oh, crying with Amanda. Sorry, Amanda. But, um, <laughs> Liar! Um, Liar! <laughs> Only real men cry, man. <laughs> <laughs> Everything, you know, it was, she made the process fun when sometimes it might not be the most fun. Yeah. Um, it was just like, you know, it, it felt like we were working with a friend that we've known for 10 years when we've, you know, worked with her for a little bit during a rental and then, you know, a few months over this. But just the personal touch and the knowledge, I think, was what won us over and, um, you know, clearly worked out for everyone's benefit. Oh, that's amazing. And by the way, that that's pretty rare because not, there's so many agents that treat, you know, clients, not because they're bad people or anything, but like, it just, it's all business. And it's like, the, the, you know, this, this human touch sort of like, even, even something as simple as a phone call, everything's email and text now. Like, you know, I, I, I make such a big push on our team to say, hey man, get on a Zoom. Hey man, pick up the phone and call people. Cause even you know, that, like, We okay. still get, I mean, we're obviously not buying or renting a place now with her, but um, we still get random texts from her both ways. Just how are you, you know, checking in. <laughs> Nice. Um, it's just, you know, it's a... Uh, and cupcakes, more, apparently, bro. You're getting more than me. I got a uh, Magnolia Bakery delivery this morning. Uh, Melina, where's my Magnolia? What's happening? <laughs> you know, What's you're happening? ruining the surprise. I had to span it out. Theirs is breakfast, yours is lunch. <laughs> <laughs> she just knows that I don't need any more Magnolia. She's looking at Oh, no, Neither do I. 
<laughs> but um, what, was what, what was special about working with Eric Amanda for you? You know, I, I do know that you, you don't take on every client. You let plenty of people know. People don't vibe with you. You're not shy to let them know. Uh, what was special for you about working with Eric and Amanda? I don't want to say it's the not vibe. I, I want to say, you know, especially since COVID hit, right, a lot of things um, became more in my perspective than before, right? Whereas before mm. I'd run around and maybe just, you know, do what I can, even, even if things didn't really mesh. Um, and now I just, I, I want to work with people that I want to work with and that want to work with me and, and everything should be fun. Um, this process is not easy. Listen, every once in a while you hit a home run. You like that reference? See what I did there? Um, <laughs> and and it's it's you know it's it works out and it's it's super easy. But most of the time, you're gonna have a roadblock somewhere, right? And it's like going through these challenges together. You have to like who you work with, and that goes you know hands in hand with your uh, real estate attorney and your mortgage broker. And that's kind of what we discussed. Also, it's like you know we're we're gonna be married for the next let's say six months in best case scenario. Let's say if the search you know, goes longer, we don't find anything right away, a year or however long. And it's just like, you, you want to have fun with the people that you're working with or else what's the point of this? And to right. turn, you know, client relationships into friendships, like that's, that's what I love, right? I, I check in because I want to check in. I want to see how their red notes going. I want to see what the dog is doing, you know, not, not because I have to. So um, that's, that's my favorite part. Very cool. And by the way, Eric Molina is very nosy. <laughs> years. Melina is she can't FOMO Melina when you look up FOMO in the dictionary you'll see a picture of Melina's face for sure for love sure. it it's all good <laughs> um, alright very cool last question on this were, were, were there any like save the day moments Melina we, we joke around Melina everyone on the team is a superhero we, we, we do like to have a good time everybody works you know New York City life is not easy everybody works very 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 hard most people work a lot more than they live and so on our team, we try to have a good time. That's why we go, you know, fun facts and, you know, live back. Of course. And then shows and whatever. So Melina on our team, she's known as Wonder Woman. I think it's a very fitting uh, character for her. Did she have any superhero save the day type moments during this process? So we dealt with a very difficult seller's agent. Mm -hmm. uh, and at one point we were, we had an accepted offer. And then uh, we're waiting on a questionnaire from management to go to our attorney. And in that process, we were sort of, um, I'd say, I don't know if I want to use the word ghosted, but um, definitely ghosted by a <laughs> seller's agent. And over really not a significant amount of money when you look at it over, you know, the portion of a mortgage or whenever we're going to be here. And um, she just kept pressing, pressing, pressing that side. And eventually, you know, we had to renegotiate a little bit, but the, you know, the price difference that we renegotiated was actually less than what we initially thought we were going to spend. So um, I think just that saved the moment of dealing with that seller's broker while we didn't have to. Um, I'm sure there's plenty that we don't know happened behind the scenes of <laughs> that, but um, definitely when they, we were not hearing from them, um, kind of saving the, saving the deal. Nice. Dun, da, da, da. Uh, Millie, what about you? Any, any, what do you feel like were some of your uh, superhero moments during this process? Yeah, I mean, I, I also want to make note that this was, I want to say December, right? So we were dealing with a few things. We were dealing with COVID and the market being really hot. And then we were dealing with, um, obviously, management being very, very slow, A, because of COVID, B, because now, you know, when December hits, everybody's on vacation and holiday season, and nobody is, you know, working as quickly as possible. Um, and then, yeah, the sales side wasn't, uh, you know, the best um, relationship or, you know, the easiest agent to work with for, for several reasons. So there was a lot of follow up, which is great. And I'm great at doing and I will find you, you know, but um, <laughs> it was it was just it was, it was a lot of factors. And at the end of the day, you know, you need to know if uh, somebody's not answering if we are being ghosted, why? Right? So then it comes down to I need to find out the reason and I need to figure out how to fix this. Um, at the end of the day, you know, I said to Eric and Amanda, okay, here are our options. What do you want to do? What do you think? Whatever. And then we figure out, do we want to try to save this or do we not want to try to save this? But, you know, a lot of, um, a lot of emails, calls and texts on, on every side. So right. a few well, too many. <laughs> well, whoever, whoever the seller's agent is, I feel bad for them because you do not want to be in Molina's crosshairs. Um, all right. Very cool. And so now I know we're doing some. I was going to say, are we all settled in? How's the neighborhood? Yada, yada. But I think we're still in rental process here. Or are so we in, in rental? We're, we're in. So we um, did, I mean, it was a state sale. So the apartment was very old. Um, it mm -hmm. just needed, it's a great, great 
footprint, big apartment. We have a you know awesome balcony, which the outdoor space is what was we were you know only going to do if we bought a place. Um, but we needed to work, so we did about almost a three months worth of renos. Wow. Um, basically, did the entire place. I think the only thing we kept in the entire apartment were the kitchen cabinets. Um, did the kitchen, the bathroom, the floors. Wow. Um, paint. So. Luckily, we you know found a place that allowed us to do you know put our personal touch. So we are in. Actually, just got some stuff hung a few days ago, um, but otherwise we're you know we're settled. We're happy. Um, yeah, we're in. Awesome. What's that feel like? What's that feel like to be home? It's nice. It's just you know you come home to a place that it's yours. Like everything from the floors to you know the kitchen counters to the bathroom fixtures. You know everything we chose. So it's kind of a you know, cool thing that this is ours it's our personal touch and you know it's for as long as we want it it's this right. is our place and you you got to do something most people don't get to do you got to make it your own like most people they come in it's not like a total good job and so they just there's things they don't like so they just leave it but like you got to come in the the economics of the purchase allowed you to go on and do some reno and now like you really got to give it your own personal touch that's cool that's yeah cool. i mean i we also learned a lot about reno in new york city but you know, we'll, <laughs> we'll save that for another day <laughs> that's a, that's the sequel that's the sequel yeah. dun, 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 cliffhanger. <laughs> um cool and so you feel like you found your place is this the next two years the next 50 years like what, what are you feeling like um it's our place not it's not forever place um hopefully mm -hmm. you know maybe five years we'll be able to you know upgrade to something bigger and better but for now you know we're potentially going to put up you know we say putting up a wall but we do have like a nice little dining alcove that could become a office or a second bedroom for you know things you know go one way but um it's i'd say five years and cool you know we'll get another call and hopefully find us <laughs> our you know bigger place or maybe yeah. we buy the unit next door and make it a combo well, that's oh, that's ideal there's a <laughs> large studio next door that there you uh, go maybe one day it'll work out there that you way, go. But, well whatever you do don't get on our bad side all right I never this. <laughs> uh, Melina, what about you? How, how does it feel to know that your clients are settled in? To know that you know, at least your part, the 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 transactional part, is done. You know, where where, where are you at? It feels great. I mean, that's why I'm always checking in on the run on too, because the space was so great. Like it was such a great shell. And honestly, that outdoor space, in my opinion, is everything, uh, especially with COVID. People saw outdoor space and it was like everybody just gravitated towards it, obviously, uh, which is why, you know, we were also um, a little concerned about losing out on this property, which is why someone else came in and wanted it too, because it was a great space. And the fact that they were able to purchase in the location that they wanted and they loved the building and the staff, which is super important as well. And a lot of people don't even take that into consideration, but it's part of the process of how you feel about your home, right? Is having really great staff um, and then them personalizing it. And, you know, I know Reno is difficult as well. I've, I've been there, but it's also fun, right? It's, it's a double-edged sword. So like, yes, For half sure. of it, you want to rip your hair out. And the other half is like, you look at this and you're like, mm. I picked out this tile. Like I picked out this sink. And it's just like, it's, it's a really fun, great memory and feeling in, in my opinion. So to know that they basically um, are done and like, you know, paintings are getting hung and, and all these things. It's not a call even on do not. So disturbed look at that you you feel you feel at home and i and i think you don't feel at home until all of those little things are done so it takes a little while but i'm i'm glad to know that finally kind of i feel like have a weight lifted off of you hopefully for sure nice oh man you guys are so cute uh, all right well what a what great show what a great like feel good show for a friday final gems eric and eric slash amanda uh, any gems to those out there that might be just starting their process or might be in it? Anything you want to share? I, you know, I wish we would have done. I wish we would have known. Any any gems you want to share? I just think, like I said before, do your research. Um, surround yourself with a good team. Um, obviously, you know, with you guys on our side, we used an attorney that you guys recommended. Um, we had a great mortgage broker. And ended up with, you know, with our reno, a great reno team. I think just surround yourself with good people um, and try and be on the same page. I know Amanda and I were on the same page with Melina the entire time. Um, I think Mo Amanda would echo everything I've said today. Um, <laughs> so just, you know, do your research, know what you want. Don't, I know we didn't settle. And I would say, you know, with, especially in New York City, there's a lot, but also a little. So just, you know, know what you want um, 
and we know you know we wanted that outdoor space and we were we saw some great apartments that didn't have it and uh, we just kind of were like it's not you know we don't want to settle for this big of a purchase so um, i think just research and surrounding yourself with a great team um, is definitely you know at least half the battle yeah awesome and and those things will go hand in hand you know as you start to do research most buyers will realize they need to be working with pros that can help them, yada, yada. And as you start working with pros that really care, they'll help you with your research and navigate and get to clarity. <clears throat> and a lot of times in the buying process, there's a, I don't know what I don't know. And, you know, that's, that's what your team. Yeah, I mean, know. as simple as figuring out if we were doing, you know, co-op or condo, we had no clue in the beginning, like, you know, what's the difference. And right. once we learned from the the difference, we're like, oh, we definitely, you know, co-ops what we're going to do and uh, kind of tailor our search that way. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, I mean, honestly, th those are the, the the real estate specifics, and then especially introducing the different mortgage products. So most buyers have no idea there's any product out there other than a thirty year fix. They just don't know. It's don't, no one talks about these things. Very cool, man. Well, cer certainly on on behalf of our team, super happy for you, and that we could help. And you know, very happy, Molina. What about you? Any, uh, any gems to either the consumers out there that could be looking? Which plug you should totally call Molino, or the agents out there that, you know, uh, the way your approach was to this whole thing, any gems for anyone that might be watching? I mean, I, I don't think you can really uh, give any gems to the other side. People are who they are, right? But I just want to <laughs> say, I just want to say, you know, for the buy side, like I, I definitely, yes, Eric, literally just surround yourself with the team that works for you. And, you know, one team, it's not a one size fits all. Again, you, you have to mesh and you have to um, enjoy the people you're working with, but also just be positive and you know know that everything happens for a reason and you know this worked out there was ups there was downs there was you know blood sweat and tears but um at the end of the day i, I do believe and i always say this that everything works out the way it's supposed to so whether it's this property or, or another one and just be positive it's it's a process with a lot of ups and a lot of downs but at the end of the day it'll work out yeah, very nice. You actually took my gem. That's my gem. For anybody watching, perspective. That's my gem. It's perspective. There are people that are facing real struggle, especially over this last 18 months with health issues, with homelessness. I mean, there's a slew of real problems out there. When you're looking to buy a home and you're fortunate enough to have the resources and the ability to purchase a home, something that 90% or whatever of the world will never get to do or whatever the percentage is, and you don't get the one that you wanted, yeah, it sucks, but that's not a real problem, you know, or like if there's a, if there's a hiccup in the process, yeah, it sucks, but that's not a real problem. That's not a reason to, you know, get, get out of control or get stressed or whatever, just perspective. It's, and it's e much easier said from the side than when yes. you're going in it and the rental's not going well. Yeah, not that easy. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. And so it just, that's my big gem is just remember perspective. Remember that this is a luxury and that this is something beautiful that you're getting to do that most of the people in the world never get to do. And just remind yourself of that. So that as you're navigating it in the end, as Melina said, everything will work out. People, you know, I cannot tell you how many countless times we worked with buyers that lost them to home and were super bummed out. And then the place they actually ended up in was cheaper, better, more to their life, you know, whatever. So again, and, and, and honestly, that's not even really limited to real estate. Life sucks sometimes, right? Life's hard sometimes. And so just a little bit of perspective goes a very, very long way. And, you know, forget about this being like, you know, a rah-rah rant. It just helps you stay clear and navigate the terrain so you can make a better decision, right? Like when you're, when you're all bent out of shape, you, just, you, you, don't, you typically don't make good decisions. So, guys, what a pleasure. Man, like I don't even want to work anymore. I want to go skip outside or something. <laughs> what a feel-good feel good show. Well, Beautiful Eric, out. You can do it. <laughs> Uh, Eric, thanks for joining us. Certainly appreciate your time. Tell them thank you so too. much, Eric. Of yeah. course, thanks for having me. Amanda wanted to be here, but um, no, I know, I know. <laughs> Melina, write, write Amanda and tell her that Eric was great. She got proper representation. Of course, I will. <laughs> and she's getting a cupcake tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and banana pudding. <laughs> and what? banana pudding. More importantly, guys, have a really, really great day and a great weekend. Everybody thank watching, thanks so for hanging much. out. See you guys. Thanks, guys. Everyone. See you guys.